All right, today we're going to show you our awesome custom H2R graphics hack. Check it out. Here, we can pretty much take any name, put it on top of any image, and easily be switching between them insanely quickly. So, the, the brain here is H2R graphics, and really two of them. We have companion letting us trigger any lower third we want. And the best part is, it's so easy to add a new name, you can do it as quickly as this. Scroll down to the bottom, I'm going to click add, we got Brian here, he's the video guy, hit show, now Brian has his own custom lower third, I can take it onto our main program there, and we've now just built a lower third seconds before they walked on stage. Let's show you how we do it. H2R graphics is the brain. We're running two different versions, and this is important because we're running everything from one computer. Okay? One H2R graphics is letting us do the actual text with a transparent background. Okay? It is a key and a fill, and it does it for us. Awesome. The other H2R graphics, and we're running two different versions of the software, it's handling the logo. This is usually provided to us from the client. Sometimes we have to make our own but the logo actually has a key and a fill in itself. So, the fills are on top, the keys are on the bottom. Once it comes out of this computer here, we're sending it into the switcher. The switcher then used two downstream keys to be able to overlay them properly. So, what you see here is you see Brian on a downstream key, and then you see the graphic behind him, right? And again, we can easily be changing who these layers are really easily. Okay, once it's on there, we have buttons here and everything's networked so that the graphics guy can hit tie, right, and bring it on and off preview so we can see what it looks like, right? And then once it's up there, either the switcher or the director, whoever wants to, can take the entire preview and bring it on to program just like that. So this is how this works. Then if we're like, you know what, we brought it on and we want to take off just the graphic but not the person talking, we can take off just the graphic and fade it off real nice there. The idea for us is to spend the least amount of time prepping so we can be cranking out conferences, right? So this allows us to do this. Check this out. I'm going to change the entire look of that lower third in less than a minute. So I'm going to take a new provided uh, graphic here. Okay, let's just use this one here. That's a fill. That is a key. I'm going to hit the button. There's our new graphic, but Brandon, the text doesn't line up. Easy. H2R graphics allows us to change how big we want our graphic to be. I can move it up. See, I can move it all the way up here if I want to. So I'm going to center it right about there. Maybe I change the size ever so slightly. And all of a sudden now, we have a graphic that looks half decent, right? Center that up. And now I can use our same system here to hide it, to show it here. I can tie it so that way when we cut out, it moves with it, right? Um, and I can easily be changing who I have coming in here. I guess I need to change which uh, people I have and, and how long their names are. So I wouldn't want to necessarily use this graphic for these long titles. But you get the idea. Be able to change the name on top of the graphic really, really quickly and then be adding them very fast. Um, the less time you spend prepping your graphics, the more time you have to make sure everything's going to work and spend with the client and doing more and more shows. So that is our H2R graphics hack. We don't use it for every conference, but the conferences we do use it for, we love it. So, thanks for watching.